So that flight worked really well for me on Dracut this year. Um, in conjunction with this one, fished on a washing line on an intermediate. So I'm going to tie the other fly that I fished with it and then I'll tie the fab at the end. The fab at the end is actually one that I've kind of been um, playing around with and it works really well. It's tied with a slightly different sort of blob material. So this one is basically going to be a red version of, of that. So the thread is... Uh, the thread is Semplify 12O waxed in red. Um, it just needs to be a red thread for this. It doesn't actually particularly matter which... One. I mean, again, I tend to use UTC or Uni. Um, I just got some of this to try after we started stocking it at Ibrook, and I've been pretty happy with it. I mean, one thing that's really good with this is it's waxed all the way as well. Uh, right, so body for this is red holographic um, in a medium. Where's the end? I don't know how it manages to stick itself down so well. And then when you find the end and cut a piece off, it all comes unravelling. <laughs> I'm using that bit Cut off that bit. And that bit. Um, so again, just red medium uh, tinsel, caught in, just run the thread back up, even a couple of mil again, put some more varnish on. Do you have a preference of what type of simply glue you have? Um, I tend to use Zappa Gap because it's a brush on one. Um, but to be honest, no. I mean, if I can't get hold of Zappa Gap, I'll use. But again, normally just the, the standard super glue, but a brush on one's a little bit easier uh, to apply rather than ruining dubbing needles putting it on. Oh, the well, I've never used the Gorilla Glue one. I know what the normal Gorilla Glue is like, it'd be like extreme. Most well, quite good glue in my fingers. So I'd be glue to my desk if I used Gorilla Glue. Um, so again, touching turns up towards the head. Just got one more wrap than I'd need to, just so I can cross the thread over, put a few more thread wraps, just hold it in place. Um, so again, I'm going to put a, a sort of flash underwing, um, but not the angel hair. This is sort of Semperfly medium holographic red tinsel. Um, just a few strands of this. Um, works really well with the underwing. Um, it's just a really good material. This one is. It's literally just the they pulled off the card of. Uh, basically, it's the same stuff as the spools that you'd normally use. Um, so just four strands. Just Cut them off. So I marry the tips up, just trim them so they're equal, and then a pinch and loop. Just so you can get them in, make sure they're in the top. Roll them over a bit. There we go. And then, and then what we're looking to do is just trim them against the back of the sort of body as well and again I'll use the same feather because it's quite a lot of bloods left on that one right, so that'll do so pinch that whole bunch cut it wet it again just to keep them all in place while I find out how long I want it about there Again, pinch and loop, couple of wraps, just check you're happy with where it's sitting, just roll it over a little bit, and then hold the thread tight, just whip it all down, and then just go with the whip finish. A 
If I ever lost it, this whip finisher, I'd be absolutely lost. <laughs> I've tried to use various different ones. I can only use that one. I can't use that one at all. No. I can use my fingers. Is that is it the... Um, it's just a Venyard one I got. Just from, a yeah, from oh, years okay. ago. Because you actually have to rotate that, don't you? Yeah, yeah, so you spin it as you're going in. Yeah. The only issue with using varnish for this is, as you can see on the body boy, you'll see it when it goes round, it kind of squirts out as you're going because it's a bit more viscous than the super glue is. Um, so I'll pass you that one round.